Hey guys, I'm Jody with Board Game Perspective, and we're gonna take a look at 10 more games that I'm interested in if I were going to Essen, which I'm not. But we've I've already done a top 10 list on the channel, so go ahead and take a look at that. But this is gonna be 10 more games, because there's a buttload of games that are gonna be there, and you know, I had to talk about 10 more, because there's just too many interesting games not to. So what I did is I went to BGG, and they have a preview list here and I went through all these games and I already did, took out my top 10 but I went through and picked out 10 more games that really piqued my interest so let's just get right into them I didn't rank this list this is just 10 more games that I'm intrigued interested in trying all right so let's start with the, <laughs> let's start with this one now I think the cover of this is extremely cheesy <laughs> but i'm i want to try this uh you say it malim space agency there's a, f a couple of reasons why i want to try this one i love cats i'm obsessed with cats and i'm also obsessed with space themed games and this is actually a good publisher rebel studio they did meadow which was gorgeous a good game i love that game and this is also a very well-known designer, Reiner Knizia. Actually, I'm not familiar with the artist, so I don't know, but I this is one I have to try. I just, I'm really intrigued. And let's take a little bit more look about what this is about here. Cinder cats throughout the solar system to occupy planets and moons. I mean, I know, I know it's cheesy, but I, 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 I need to try this one. I love cats, I love space, so why not? So it's a family board game. So lighter. Uh, I think there's some dice rolling, some push your luck, and I do like those. If they're shorter games, I don't, I don't mind a you know good dice rolling and pu uh, push your luck stuff. It says 30 to 60 minutes, so not not terribly long. So some racing element as well. So you are, let's see here. You know, I almost can't even read this description because it's it's so it has a lot of cheesy factors in here with might lead to some perfectly chaotic catastrophes. Okay, yeah, I know. But let's take a look at a couple pictures. So yes, this is I can't click forward. Let's let's see what the game board looks like. I guess there's this, this long board here. Um, some push your luck elements. I guess you're trying to maybe move forward along the track racing because I just said a racing element so racing to get to a different system end of the game end of the track I guess I don't know. It doesn't have the greatest look but I I still would like to try this one. <laughs> yes. okay let's just move on. All right now we got the glade. This one is Natri. Look at that cover. Look at this cover, guys. Does that not, isn't that not just really peaceful and welcoming? Look at the little squirrel, the little mouse, the mushrooms. This is, it's just a very, very inviting appearance here. So we've got create sets of matching tiles to populate your forest. Okay. So obviously there's probably gonna be some tile placement, probably. Network and route building, set collection, tile placement, square grid, deduction, environmental and puzzle, abstract, animals. I'm, I'm thinking this might be one that Justin might be interested in because of those things, tile placement, deduction, puzzly. Let's look at this. It definitely has that vibe that I think Justin might like, and I think I might like as well. It looks really neat. Are these like, oh, these are nice little trays. It's probably gonna be cardboard, but I guess to put your tiles on. I don't know, this this looks really interesting. I definitely wanna give this a shot. What, uh, that is called The Glade. Who's the publisher? R&D Games. Oh, what else do they do? Do they do Canvas? No. What are they? I'm thinking I'm getting publishers mixed up. Man, I've lost a lot of my brain cells since pregnancy. I hope some of it comes back. Um, okay, let's go back here. All right, so create sets of three tiles to place one of your toadstool counters on the central glade board. 
yeah, this just looks inviting, interesting, puzzly. Definitely one that we need to try. All right. Well, I guess speaking of deduction, we, with that one, I think this is also some deduction. Be the first to find the right location of the buildings in the city. This is archaeologic. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, a competitive deduction game who's, well, we already went over that. You're trying to find locations of buildings and you have coded cards. You're going to ask questions by adjusting its clogs. Or no, no, you're going to ask the archaeoscope your questions by adjusting its clogs. And I guess you're just trying to do some deduction. And Justin and I have been really enjoying deduction games. We got to play Turing Machine, and wow, we love that game. We got Search for Planet X. We just really like those games, so I think this might be one we want to try. So let's, yeah, so here's that, what is it, what do they call it, Archeoscope? Where you put in information, and I guess you see if you're right or wrong. I don't know, but it looks like you got almost like little polyomino shapes that I guess are the buildings. You're trying to figure out where the buildings are. I don't know. This is one. This is one that we probably wouldn't mind try, giving a try. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is a up close of the archaeoscope. Tiwanaku is the other game this re reminds me of that Justin liked. Also deduction. It had this thing where you're this wheel that you're trying to put in codes and stuff. Yeah. So this is definitely one that Justin and I would probably like to try. All right, so now let's move on to, this is the only expansion I believe that has been on my lists, but definitely one that I would love to try. I really do like Cascadia. It's just a great intro game, you know, to non-gamers. There's nothing crazy and it's just peaceful, gorgeous, and it's, it's really enjoyable. So this one is place beautiful natural landmarks as you expand Cascadia. So this is still from the, obviously the same people, the Flat Out Games team. Now, so this one, I think you're just, are, are there landmark tiles, I think? Let's see, let's look at some pictures. Yeah, you got these little, um, oh, those are so pretty. Okay, so you have these extra little things, Hawk on Mountain, Elk on Mountain. You have Hawk on Wetland, so you got different little components there. Yeah, so it looks like you got your, you know, base game goals here and then you got some other stuff going on up here. Definitely one. I wouldn't mind just adding a little bit to the game. That would probably keep, you know, keep my interest since I like heavier games. And I think Justin might be interested in this one. So definitely want to try this. Oh, and I think this also adds enough components to play Cascadia with five to six players. Not that we ever would, but it's there. All right, so another nature-themed game. We got Bonsai. This looks awesome. Take on the role of expert bonsai masters intent on growing their own bonsai. I've never heard of these designers. I've never heard of the publisher, the TV games. So basically, you really are just building a bonsai out of tiles. And, you're, and the way I think the way you lay out tiles, you score um, differently. And on your turn, you're just going to perform either meditate or cultivate one of two actions let's look at some pictures because it, it really is gorgeous yeah so each player has their own bonsai that you're building and it uh, yeah this just looks really interesting i'll be curious how good the game is because obviously they were trying to make it very thematic so i'm interested how good the game actually is but i mean everyone's going to have a different looking bonsai tree yeah, this is one I'd like to try. Light, it looks like light, family weight, not super long. What does it say? 40 minutes playing time. Yeah, I definitely would like to give this one a try. All right, so this next one is definitely one for Justin and I. Match of the Century. This is from Deep Print Games, and the designer is, oh gosh, how do you say his name? Paolo, Paolo Mori. He did... Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm drawing blanks on stuff. He did this one, Blitzkrieg, World War II in 20 minutes. Justin and I both are big fans of that game. We love it. And this is another kind of that feeling of two-player tug-of-war type of feel. And it is 
the theme is chess. So just like this game is a must try and buy for Justin because two player tug of war feel with a chess theme. Justin loves chess. So you're, you're playing as two grandmasters of chess face in a thrilling competition. You play one another over a series of games, just as in a real championship match. All right, so let's look at some pictures. So it's card driven and it has like actual little chess pieces, but you're not playing chess, but it's a game kind of like chess, about chess, but it's weird. I don't, I don't know how to explain it because I haven't played it obviously, but you're playing, taking turns playing out cards. I don't know, this just, I we have to try this one because it's a well well known designer that has played not played that has designed games that we'd like two player games and this is going to be one of those i think so that is match of the century moving on to moreland this is oh interesting another deep print games link waterways and bring the more to life first of all i'm just going to say I find this cover really intriguing. It's just kind of fascinating to look at. I love this. Anyway, this is a two to four player game and I believe it's tile placement. So we got some set collection and you are managing fragile and fascinating ecosystem and it's uniquely adapted creatures. So you're trying to link waterways and distribute plants to keep your own more alive. So it looks has that kind of puzzly vibe and tile placement i think just and i both like tile placement games where there's like these paths and stuff you're trying to link stuff so i definitely think this is one for us to try because each player has their own board and linking stuff and doing paths and puzzly tile placement and some naturey themed stuff so I definitely would like to try this one as Moreland. I think Justin would too. Let's move on to a space game. We got Lunar Rush. Corporations race to most efficiently mine the moon and time the market. Dead Alive Games is the publisher. All right, so we got a simultaneous play Euro style board game that combines time-based resource, ma resource management, market economics, bidding, and tableau engine building into a refreshing new genre. Whew, that was a lot, a lot of stuff to say there. But economics, sci-fi, all those things are interesting to me. I love simultaneous action games. So this one, I mean, it's another one of those space games I just gotta try. Let's take a look at a couple of the pictures here. Well, okay, that's not actual game. Let's find an actual shot of the game. Here we go. Yeah, well, this definitely has a dark look, but I would try it. it. It's caught my attention. It's intriguing. This sounds interesting. I like the graphics. So yeah, that is Lunar Rush, one I would definitely like to try. And let's move on to a Pandasaurus game called After Us. Grow the collective intelligence of your monkey tribe faster than your opponents. The artist is Vincent Dutrait, publisher Catch Up Games. Humankind died out decades ago. As time went by, nature reclaimed land all over, and the resurgent world apes have kept evolving. And so, I guess you are leading your a tribe and guiding it towards collective intelligence. It's a deck building and resource management game. I love those combos. So I definitely want to try this. It looks it looks gorgeous. And I always love, I don't know, I just love like doomsday type of themes, post-apocalyptic stuff. I don't know, I just, I just find it interesting. So let me show you a few pictures because it is gorgeous. I mean, look at this artwork, guys. It's absolutely stunning. And deck building, resource management, I definitely would love to try this game. That is After Us. Let me see if there's one last good picture of... Here's a couple of pictures of... Man, look, look at just vibrant colors. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. So this one looks interesting. And uh, I saw actually saw it in our local board game store. And it's a it's a good size, good size box. So that is After Us. 
Last last game for this here list is going to be Age of Wonders Planetfall. Commanders explore seven once abandoned planets in search of resources and technology. <laughs> Yep, more of these space sci-fi games. I'm sorry, guys, but that is just my jam, and it's really interesting to me. So we've got, I believe this is Arcane Wonders, uh, at least for, yeah, Hobby World, Arcane Wonders, publisher. So card game, sci-fi. Oh, is this a video game? It says video game theme, so I guess maybe this was a video game. Set collection, worker placement, variable player powers. <clears throat> Let's go back here and take a look at a few pictures. So everyone has a different faction. And is that, did I say worker placement? Car, it's a car, car driven game. So setting off massive gravity bombs designed to create spatial rifts to new worlds. That, that sounds cool. <laughs> So, is this, I can't remember, was this some set collection? Yeah, set collection. And a card-driven game. It looks cool. I love, I love the way this looks. Vibrant colors. Is there any close-ups on cards here? I definitely would like to try this one. I don't know how, how complex it is. But I, I'm definitely intrigued. I want to try this one. It looks cool. So that is 10 more games that I am interested in trying. Or, well, yeah, I'm interested in trying, but if I was at Essen, I would get them or try them. Which ones, guys, are you interested in out of this list? Or if you are interested in some that are not on this list, let me know in the comments below which ones those are, because I love hearing what people like, are interested in, and what to play. And if you guys are still here and aren't, aren't subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to us and help our channel out. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.